Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we'll do an unboxing of A Greater Victory, South Mountain, September 14th, 1862. This is part of Revolution Games, the American Civil War uh, series. This is volume seven in the series. This is the uh, uh, Blind Sword System created by Herman Lutman. Um, and this is a the most recent release, and this is the boxed edition. So let's open it, take a look at what you get inside. This one does not come, they do not come shrink wrapped. They do ship them in a nice plastic bag to keep them safe, but the, the, the contents of the box is not actually shrink wrapped. So a little bit of savings there, because you can reuse the bag. Where it's shrink wrapped, you kind of break it and it's gone. So anyway, let's open the box and see what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. <laughs> Okay, so I turned it sideways because obviously the better for the camera. And there we go. Okay. All right, so we've got our tracking chart. It's got our turn record track, the victory point track, and the broken unit track. That's one nice thing about the system is units can go into the broken box at a certain point and then each turn they advance and then suddenly they come back onto the map if you want them to. And then this is specific to the uh, the game at hand and tells you various different things that are gonna happen, which chits can come into play uh, if you need to take certain roles, things like that. So this is a turn record. This one goes over 24 turns. Single-sided, nope, oh, got two things here in my hand. It is, sing oh, it's, it's double-sided technically. This is the cover if you buy the the uh, Ziploc version, this would be what was facing you in the bag, so you would have the matching cover. So, it's effectively single-sided. Nice card stock, full color. Now the other sheet that we happen to have in our hand here was the South Mountain Sequence of Play, Player Aid. Now these you get two of, because I like all the other ones, so on one side is the Player Aid with the charts, terrain effect charts, sequence of play, different charts you're gonna need. On the reverse, oh, stumped me. Look at that. I think in the past these were, one was Union, one was Confederate with their chip reference cards, but in this case, they are just two copies, one for each player. These do play well solo. Um, it's a really great system because anything with a chip bowl is gonna play well solo because you can't count on what's coming, so you just draw the chip, play the best you can for that side. So it's very easy to play true solo, since it's only one person playing both sides. So um, now we have our combat results tables with your ratios, your strength points, and your die rolls. It uses a it uses a combined die roll, so. The number on one die and the number on the other die. You don't add them, you just go, you know, one, one through six, six. So that's pretty cool. And then on the back, we have our cohesion test tables and a full color terrain key. So you can identify the terrain and then look up the terrain effects over here. So you get two of those on a nice cardstock. And now we've got the unique event descriptions, command confusion, firefight, rally, CIC, double quick, skirmishers, and fatigue. And these are for both sides. Commander in chief, Lee versus McClellan. And on the opposite side, we have the union event descriptions and the confederate event descriptions. These are for ones that specifically union, specifically confederate. And indecisions, which is only used in scenario 16.3. It's a wild chit. Uh, and these are nice. These are full color. I don't. I don't think that the earlier ones, in some of the earlier ones, that these were actually in color. These were a black and white chart. If I'm remembering correctly, that you can watch some of the other videos for the rest of the Blind Sword systems. I think all of them are on the channel. All right. We've got a little tiny piece of cardstock here, and this is the Union Brigade. But this is the Union Brigade activation display. And this is the Confederate Brigade activation display. They are single-sided because they're gonna sit on the table. You have Dr. Jones, you have DR Jones, uh, DH Hill, and Hood, their divisions. And here we have Hatch, Rickett, Meade, Pleasanton, Wilcox, Sturgis, Rodman, and Cox, their divisions. 
So that's their activation displays. Then we have the Greater Victory Exclusive Rules, which is the rules just for this scenario, ad additive to the, or additive or, or changed from the uh, Blind Sword series rules, which have grown. Uh, the designer of this one is Steve Carey. Roger Miller is the developer, of course. Art by Edmund Hudson, Charles Kibler, Mark Mahaffey, and Richard Handwith did the rules and charts layout. So this one is 16 pages, full color, very nice. Revolution seems to have upped their game a little bit, no pun intended, um, in, their, in their printing. A lot was more black and white, kind of simple paper. And as things have gone, they seem to have greatly improved those, which is very nice. So this is the specific rules for the area. A gentle slope. For example, normally in blind swords, swords, crossing a gradual elevation change does not cost a moving unit any extra movement points. On rugged South Mountain, it costs one extra movement point for any unit not on a road pike to cross up only, not down, into an adjacent gradual elevation hex. Going up from three to four would it cost extra movement points. And that's the, the kind of stuff that to better reflect this scenario. So, like I said, it's full color, semi shiny, not too bad. Not getting a lot of glare here. And this actually contains these scenarios, which would be obviously specific to this. So, there are three scenarios in a greater victory. The first covers the morning action at Fox's Gap, the second moves the action to Frost Town in the late afternoon, and the third scenario covers the full day of action at South Mountain. In all scenarios, the Union side sets up first. And that just shows you the area of play that's going to be on the map for the different scenarios. And obviously for scenario three, which is everything, you're going to use the whole map. Cool. And there's an index for the exclusive rules right there if you need to look up something specific. And then we have the Blind Sword series rules. This is version one from 2021. Where they, I guess they started having, in 2021, started having the books separate from the exclusive rules. And this is black and white. This is more of a matte finish, you know, regular paper, which is nice. Um, and this covers the, ba the basic rules for the whole system. So you understand that even this it covers the specific rules. And it is only 16 pages. Uh, and all of its, I believe, rules. I mean, you go through all of it. It's, it is very dense, but not too hard to read, not too hard to understand. It's a very simple system, but very complex in what it models. So, there's that. Then you're going to get two sheets of counters. This is counter sheet one, the front, mostly your Union troops, along with your shaken markers and some other markers, Indecision, Fortunes of War, Fog of War, Good Ground. That's what you get there. And that's the Union side, obviously. These are not uh, uh, pre-rounded, so you'll have to punch the strips or cut them out. They're very firmly in there because they're very thick, good quality counters. So you'll kind of need to like help them out and then probably trim them with an Oregon Laminations 2.5 millimeter Deluxe Corner Rounder, the right tool for the job. So there's just chits that you're going to pull, and you'll have this for the uh, for the uh, Confederate side as well. Confederates have looks like a lot less troops, a lot more, a lot more blank counters it would appear. So you got their uh, event actions, and then their units, and then the various things, uh, the various units they've got going here, the divisions. And they've got a lot, there's a lot more shaken markers that add. These are, these are not uh, Confederate specific, like these are not Union specific, these are just extra counters you have. And then the game turn tracker, etc. And then we've got our map. It is a unmounted map. We also have two little dice. Little baby dice. Little tiny dice. Or am I just a giant? No, they're tiny dice. And then we've got our map. is a it's it's a paper map, but it's it's you know it's card card stocky paper map. It's pretty thick. It's not really cheap paper or anything like that. It's a huge map though. Wow, this is this is quite large. It's pretty big there. 
and it sits portrait. You can kind of see the whole thing here. Beautiful artwork. Obviously these used to be done by Rick Barber who passed away, uh, unfortunately, and he did great maps, but the, the, the feel is still captured by um, the, uh, the current map artist. And it's, it's very nice, very, it's got his own signature, but at the same time very, feels very um, cohesive with the other games. They didn't go off in a totally radically different direction. It kind of has a feel of a, of a hand-drawn, hand-drawn map. We'll scroll this down a little bit and you can look at the whole battlefield. I mean, obviously it's all on South Mountain and there's a little bit of plains down here and then just kind of comes up, you're fighting on the mountain across the valleys and so on and so forth. So that's gonna create some interesting scenarios, I think. And there's the end of it right there. A few, op few uh, you know, highlights of Monument Hill, Widow Main, the Widow, Ma the Widow Main lives up there, G. Smith and Ziddle, Turner's Gap, Ziddle's Town. Mount Tabor Church. It's nice they have different residences marked on here. Now I'm going to go look them up in the uh, in the census on Ancestry.com and find out who these people were. So anyway, so let's fold this up. So if you pick up a copy of Greater Victory, South Mountain, September 14th, 1862, you're going to get that map we just looked at. You're going to get two sheets of counters. Oh, you're going to get those two tiny little dice. You're going to get two sheets of counters. And markers. These in there. You're gonna get the Blind Swords Rules Book, which is uh, 16 pages. Then you're gonna get the exclusive rules for Greater Victory, which is also 16 pages. This one's full color. You're gonna get the two brigade activation display charts, about half sheet each, single sided. You're gonna get the event description cards. You're gonna get one for each player. Those are double-sided and contain both the Union and the Confederate on one page. You're gonna get the two copies of the combat results table and the terrain key and the cohesion test table. Two copies of that. Two copies of the sequence of play in black and white and that's single-sided. One turn record track for the game itself. And if you get the box version, it's all gonna be in this beautifully produced box. If you get the uh, Ziploc version, it'll obviously be in the bag with the, the back of that one uh, reference card showing. So anyway, that is everything you get in A Greater Victory, South Mountain, September 14th, 1862, American Civil War, Blind Swords Series, Volume 7 from Revolution Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you, bye-bye. Oh!